Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and this is my two-minute entertainment rundown for the week of June 3rd. Johnny Knapp Knoxville is back. Some of you may remember him for his early movies where it was all stunts and people getting hurt. He's in a film called Action Point, which is about a, an amusement park where people pull stunts and get hurt. They tried to weave a story into this. It doesn't work. Johnny Knoxville, his day has come and gone. And this movie, I don't know who it's aimed for, but it's just a mess of non-entertainment. It's rated R for profanity, violence, brief nudity. I scored it 2 out of 10. That's thumbs down, thumbs down. Then we have the movie I'm really pushing. It's called Upgrade. It's a science fiction movie. It's about a guy who's in a car wreck. He ends up being uh, a quadriplegic. Uh, a mad scientist comes to him and says, I can help you out. I can insert a computer chip into your spine and it will give you all your mobility again. It works, except the computer chip has a mind of its own. This is a great film. It's rated R for profanity, violence, and brief nudity. I scored it 8 out of 10. Get that, 8 out of 10. Then finally, we have the movie based on a true story called Adrift. It's... Uh, a young couple meet up in Tahiti and are sailing a boat from Tahiti to California. It's a you know a long trek to get there, but they run into a hurricane and both suffer injuries. How can they survive? This is rated R. I mean, excuse me, PG-13 for profanity and violence and brief nudity. I scored it seven out of ten. Next week we're going to be talking about the horror film Heredi Hereditary. Also, the Sandra Bullock movie, Ocean's 8, and the Jodie Foster film, Hotel Artemis. This has been Jackie K. Cooper's 2-Minute Entertainment Rundown.